students in last class we discussed about the history of computer and three eras of the history of computer to revise they were mechanical era electromechanical era and electronic era in this class we are going to study about mechanical calculators mechanical calculators all under mechanical era we will use the word calculator for computers here because the primary function of computer was to calculate the numerical values or numeric values in the past so the mechanical calculators are the calculators or devices which did not need electricity to operate or do the calculations okay i am roshan karel a teacher for grade 8 let's see the list of mechanical calculators first one is abacus second one is napier bones third one is slide rule next one is pascalin or pascaline next one is stepped reckoner another one is jacquard's loom and we will also discuss about difference engine and analytical engine these fall under mechanical calculators okay let's begin the discussion we'll be starting with abacus Abacus was developed by Chinese in 3000 BC to be precise 5000 years from now this is how a abacus looks like you can see this outer border of the abacus is known as frame the abacus is divided into different decks this upper deck is known as heaven and this lower one is known as earth these brown seed like structure in the abacus are known as beads so the beads in the upper part or upper deck are known as upper beads and the beads in the lower deck are known as lower beads this is units place and these are rods and this middle part is known as bar we will discuss it later on abacus was used by the chinese people to perform calculations chinese people used to do the calculations using abacus it was made up of wooden frame like we saw there in which rods were fitted across the round beads sliding on the rod this means these rods are fitted across where round beads are placed okay let's discuss about the part of the abacus abacus is divided into two parts heaven and earth the upper part is known as heaven and the lower part is known as earth now for abacus we call parts as deck okay heavens heaven and earth are separated by mid bar we can perform addition subtraction multiplication division square root cube root using abacus nowadays abacus is also used for mental calculating trainings that means uh, children are taught to calculate in their mind using abacus so let's discuss the next device that is napier's bone napier's bone was invented by john napier in 1617 ad john napier was scottish mathematician and a politician napier bone is also called napier bones you can say napier's bone or napier bones 
एपियर बोन्स कूड डू ऑपरेशन लाइक मल्टीप्लीकेशन डिविजन फाइंडिंग रूट्स स्क्वायर रूट्स क्यूब रूट्स बट नेपियर्स बोन कूड नॉट डू एडिशन एंड सप्रैक्शन इट कूड मल्टीप्लाई डिवाइड एंड फाइंड द स्क्वायर बट कूड नॉट डू द एडिशन एंड सप्रैक्शन ओके लेट्स सी द नेक्स्ट वन नोन एज स्लाइड रूल स्लाइड रूल वाज डेवलप बाय विलियम ऑक्थर्ड इन सिक्सटीन ट्वेंटी This is how a slide rule looks like. Look, you can see there are three bars. This one is one bar, and this one is another bar, and this one is another bar. There are three bars in a slide rule. Slide rule worked on the concept of logarithm. it was made up of three bars that are fixed together we saw that they were made up of three bars okay let's discuss about the window and cursor in the slide rule window is a metal that is that is over a slide which can be moved and cursor is a pointer for reading this we can perform numerical calculations like multiplication division powers roots function etc using slide rule let's discuss the next device known as pascalin or pascaline blaise pascal who was a french mathematician developed 1642 ad pascal is a famous scientist who also has contributed for scientific works like pressure pascalin is numerical wheel calculator which had eight movable dials these are dials one dial two dial three dial four dial five six seven eight these pascalin is the first functionable calculator it worked in the principle of rotating wheels there were wheels that could be rotated in the pascalin pascalin could do operations like addition subtraction multiplication and division but multiplication was done by repeated addition and division was done by repeated subtraction let's see how was uh, multiplication and division done you see 2 plus 2 plus 2 gives 6 these are we are repeatedly adding number 2 which is equals to 2 into 3 both give the answer 6 okay let's see how the division works uh this then gives the remainder let's see 6 divided by 3 the remainder is Zero. If we divide, if we divide six by three, then we get remainder zero. Or we uh, subtract three two times so that we get the result zero. Now uh, you might get confused. Six uh, divided by three is two, but we have written zero. This zero is remainder. This zero is remainder. and how will we know that uh, 6 divided by 3 is 2 let's see how many times have we used 3 here two times so one time 3 and another time 3 means we use 3 two times means the uh, answer for 6 divided by 3 is 2 but remainder is 0 okay fun fact about pascal pascalin was developed by pascal at the age of 19 Blaise Pascal developed Pascalin when he was just of age 19. The maximum capacity of Pascalin is 9999999. That means it could do the operations that has eight digits. Thank you, students.